Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current PHP version that is PHP 8.1.4. With that, we will also run a sample program. So at first guys, go to the browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any browser. On Google type PHP. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. PHP.net. Click on it. On clicking, we have reached the PHP.net website. Click on the downloads button here. So we have reached the downloads page for PHP. Here and click Windows download because you want for Windows 10. Click on it. After clicking now the download option are visible. Here it is for x64 non-thread save and the following is for x64 thread save. So always go for the thread save version. Here x64 means for 64 bit. So we'll go for the following. Click on the zip file, it's only 29 MB. Click on it to download. Now the download started. You need to wait for a few seconds. Let's wait. So guys, we have downloaded the zip file. Right click, show in folder. Here is the file. Now right click, extract all, extract here. So here it is guys, we have extracted it. Go to downloads again. Here and here is the file. Right click and rename. Let us give it a proper name. This looks fine. Now copy this. Right click copy, go to C drive and we'll go to program files. Right click and paste it here, that's it. Continue. Now we have pasted our file, double click on it. Here and you can see the PHP INI for development and production is visible. Now right click and copy. Minimize this. Go to start. Type environment variables. We will now, we will now set the path. On typing, click on the first one that is edit the system environment variables and click on open here. Now go to environment variables from here. Under system variables, go to path. Double click on it. Now here we need to set the same path. Click on new and right click and paste the same path. The PHE path, the same path. Click on OK. OK and the last OK. Now we have completed with the setup. Go to start, type CMD. Click on open to open the command prompt. Now let us verify the installation, type php space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. You can see we have successfully installed php 8.1.4. Now let us quickly run our first program. Let's say we have our program here, right click. Create a new folder. Let us give it a name Amit program. Open it, right click and text document. Now name your PHP file, let's say the name is demo dot. Now change the extension from dot txt to dot php and press enter. Now it is asking you to change the file name extension. Do you want to allow changing the file name extension from dot txt to dot php? Click on yes. Now you can see we have successfully changed it to php. It is written type php. If you're not getting this option, the reason is you need to go to view and uh, select file name extensions. After selecting the extension will be visible and you will be able to change .txt to .php. Now guys, right click and uh, open with any editor. Let's say I'll open with notepad or I can also, I can also open with notepad++. Let me open with notepad. Let's say let me print something quickly. Okay. Now I'll just go to file and click on save minimize this now let us run it so here we are i'll open it again and just copy this path okay copy the path wherein we saved our file type cd now right click after right clicking after right clicking the same path will copy here here it is here was our folder amit programs here it is desktop amit programs desktop amit programs and press enter now type dir 
here and you can see our demo.php file is visible now to run it type php space demo.php and press enter now here and you can see we successfully printed a line using echo command in php this was our first php program so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current php version we also saw how we can easily create our first php program and run it so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things